Welcome to Area S. S as in Sweden. Hello again. You're dangerous. I'm not dangerous. Yes, I have gloves on me. Sure, I have a knife. Uh, and I have some uh, of your favorites. Habanero. Do you want a taste? No, thank you. That was a cat. <laughs> <laughs> We're probably going to show off. I think you have seen every cat in the videos so far. I think so too. Morris was it speaking of cats? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's go when you're trying to YouTube and have cats, right? And, yeah. you, and you don't have a one room for a studio. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna see more of the cats, but we're gonna show them off in another another episode or something. Yeah. Especially one. And I'm looking at you right now. <laughs> and he looked away. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna start uh, cutting off my little chilies here. And should you start with yours? Yeah. Because we have a few stuff to do today. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a chili balm to use on my nerves. Uh, yeah. She has bad nerves. I know. This might be all the strong stuff. You should not eat this cat. You eat a lot, but not this. So, so the story is, I have experienced numbness in, in my right hand for a while. Oh, is this on? No! You need to put the um, connection on first. There you go. No. Yeah, so I have had numbness in my right hand for almost half a year now so I'm gonna try a habanero? no a chili balm to help with the pain but I've heard that cafes in, in chilies are good with nerve pain second cat the third cat you will not barely see in the video. He's a little older. So I'm gonna start with the olive oil here. Do you want me to cut your tail? Choose. Yes. Yeah. So I need one and twenty-five deciliters for this. Want some paprika? No, thank you. There's a reason you wear gloves. It is. It's not that strong. You're not gonna touch me after this. What have you done? <laughs> I tasted it. <laughs> just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. I wonder how. How I'm gonna measure this in a good way. Um. Could you please? There you go. Thank you. And I will need <coughs> one tablespoon. I don't need more in this one though. Okay. I'm glad I'm using the other peppers you have bought. Fun. You're gonna turn this into ghosts. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm just gonna mix this till it's incorporated enough. Do you put on the heat? I put on the heat, yeah. <laughs> Maxing. It's the second time we're using this hot plate. <laughs> yeah. Doing Why am I trying? Crazy stuff. <laughs> crazy stuff. It's just some regular shells and a couple, one and a half habanero. 
Not, not, not too much, right? Yes, in a, yes, in a yard. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. Mm -hmm. No. Well, it's a little late to do what I'm doing to um, the Swedish tradition that we we celebrate Midsummer, because it's this Friday, and um, little tradition here in Sweden, at least where I grew up, and many other places, is that they we. Usually we eat pickled herrings, uh, what we call new potatoes, uh, sour cream and chives. Yeah. That's, right, yeah. yeah. That's usually a midsummer evening dinner. A lot. I don't. I don't really fancy pickled herring, nor do you. No. I know the, t the taste can be good, but the consistency is not good. Uh, but many do. Others do barbecue and um, also smörgåstorta can be some places or. Yeah, smorgasbord. Yeah, some even do a pickled herring cake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the tradition is that you eat a little, then you then you take a nubbe. It's basically a shot, shot yeah. of alcohol, you know, shot of vodka, or, or there's a more um, usually it's a little more um, uh, spiced uh, shot. Yeah. We have some special here. We, and there's one called Skåne. We live in Skåne. <laughs> it's called that. It has some spices in it. I have a bottle in the cabinet. And first of all, I would say we don't promote drinking. No. We we are not heavy drinkers. No, but something for a festive occasion. Yeah. yeah. Just a small one. And according to your family, I've done spit in the glass. <laughs> I remember the first Christmas we celebrated together because this is a tradition. Sometimes even I and Christmas times and Easter time. Yeah. And uh, well, they poured us a new shot glass, you know, something like that, something a bit higher, smaller, thinner. Yeah. And all of all of your family, you didn't drink it, no. but the rest of your family did, <laughs> and they all just drink drink half. I took all because that's how I am raised. Yeah, I think it's uh, different from family to family. Yeah, but that was why I saw my my parents did and my. Other family members did, so I always done it. Yeah, I can do both. Yeah, so this is actually going to be a chili schnapps. <laughs> and maybe we should mention that both these recipes come from the Chili Class book. Yeah. Her new Bible. <laughs> so I'm going to do a schnapps. This, like I said, this is too late for midsummer. This is going to sit for. Uh, Two weeks, then it's gonna be filtered, then it's gonna sit for another two weeks, and then be filtered the last time before we can try it. If we are gonna try it. Yeah, I, I, I think we should try it. Sometime. It's on Christmas, right? No. But maybe once we get 100 subscribers? Well, the longer it stands, the better. <laughs> you heard it here first. 100 subscribers, and we will try this nups when it's poured. I, I have a bottle of pure alcohol here. It's not pure, it's not 100% pure, that will kill us. It's 40% volume, and it's a Swedish brand, Absolute Vodka. <laughs> we live pretty close where it's made, actually. Yeah. And we are not sponsored. No, neither by Absolute or Chile Klaus. No, not yet. <laughs> we just make this because it's fun, and it's local. Yeah, and it's local, and it's Swedish. Uh, this is Swedish. It's yeah. Made. And we can do a shout out to them before when the p pandemic hit. Yeah. They actually um, took a lot of their uh, the production, the production, and turned it into um, medical grade. Uh, yeah, hand sanitizers. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So that was this was a good thing they did. They actually have a museum, right? Yeah, they do. Uh, maybe we should go visit there with the camera. Yeah, that would be fun. If not, we can take this with it and let them try it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if we reach a hundred subscribers. Hey! So, I mean, simply the recipe is for two liters. And I have a too big jar, I think. But it's gonna be enough. I have smaller bottles to pour it in later. So. There we go. This is about 700 milliliters. So, I have two chilies and one and a half habanero. And that's, this is going to be a pretty strong, I think. 
I may I may actually end up going back to the system for luggage because it's the only place we can buy this alcohol and buy another bottle. Actually. Yeah, it, it, it might be too much. It chill. is too much chill for this, I think. But I'm gonna buy another bottle and we're gonna pour it in tomorrow because I'm closed now. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna fix that. But other than that, yeah, after tomorrow, of course, you're gonna sit for two weeks. Yeah. Then you're gonna filter filter away the chunks. Then you're gonna let it sit for another two weeks, and then you're gonna make an even finer filtering for our. Um, did you make coffee in the Melita filters? Yeah, the coffee filters. Coffee filters, exactly. And then we have a homemade chili snaps. How is it going for you? Is it going well? Yeah, so I, I'm gonna measure up the, uh, the beeswax pellets I've got. This is what's gonna make it all thicken a bit. Yeah, this is gonna thicken it up. And that's not for you, cat. Uh, now something's happening. A little more. They, they hear we're opening a bag here and think it's ca candy. You can have 16, it doesn't matter, right? I want to do this right. Well, I can do this. Many more times. Oh yeah, you have a lot, Bivax. Yeah, this is 250 grams. And we have a lot of the chili powder. This is the wrong um, bottle for it. Yeah, but we... had we... an empty one we're using. Because we only buy spices, we buy them in... Uh, in bulk. Yeah, in this kind of package. Yeah, and then we reuse the smaller ones. Yeah. And this is uh, a chili when we bought it. It was actually stronger than we thought it was going to be. Yeah. But So we don't take much when we're cooking, but... So we haven't bought a Shield Klaus spice. No, not this time. Not this time. But it, sh it, it says you should use a medium heat chili powder. Yeah. And I think this would be a medium. This is definitely a medium in the scales of what we have tried, so yeah. Because yeah, there are Pira Piris and yeah, Korean Reapers. And, mm. and then there's just the regular. Yeah, I mean, we thought of we have a food hydrator we haven't tried yet, and we tried. We're gonna have, we have some ghost peppers at home. Yeah, I bought them. Yeah, we remember we were discussing should we dry them out and make them into powder, but we think it can be too strong for this. So yeah, since it's a medium and the ghost pepper is one of the hottest. Yeah. Num, I'm, I'm. I will have to wait until the beeswax is melted. Show a dramatic cut. Okay, we have the snaps here. It's gonna take four weeks before we can even try it, and after we pour in another bottle tomorrow. Um, one rule of doing stuff: read before you do it. I thought I have done it. I have done a lot wrong with the chili ball. When we read the recipe, yeah, there was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but we're gonna remake it. Uh, we're gonna save this one because it's it's, it's, it's a little defying. Yeah. And gonna so, but there is a couple of things wrong with it. Yeah. We're gonna have the real recipe down below. Yeah. <sighs> They want to commit what you did wrong? Well, first of all, I should have uh, sifted the oil and the chili powder. After it has been hot for about two to four hours? Yeah. And then the beeswax should have melted by itself. And then poured in and mixed together. And the, the, the oil and the, it should have uh, been cooled. Yeah. That's what's happened when you're trying to put out a YouTube video a little too quick. Or make one a little too quick. Yeah. We were, we were discussing, we shouldn't really make it, but this is already done. Oh, 
we can show it off and but well time this, is scarce this one we, we, i'm gonna be make it yeah but we're still gonna save that and try it it's probably gonna be hotter yeah a soft, lot hotter uh, bone than the, the other one but we're gonna see what happened with this failed experiment yeah recipe maybe, maybe it works maybe it's just crap yeah but you must learn yeah, sometimes yeah exactly and you learn from your mistakes remember that kids and adults everyone learns from their mistakes and if you don't you don't yeah but maybe you should rethink what you do then <laughs> maybe <laughs> yeah well yeah yeah so so this has been a lesson in itself <laughs> yeah. not a planned one <laughs> Yeah, you learn. Yeah, you learn, you do right, and you move on. Yeah. And now it's time for a fig. You don't want more habanero? You can have a habanero fig. I should probably have it since I can't read. No, 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 no. You heard it here, peeps. No. And with her showing that one, we are over and out from. Area.